the aspirant, alone in the chilly city, with my useless education and my dreams. What now? Could I become something more? So let's give ourselves a name. Um, Ducks a lot. Perfect. Ducks a lot, the aspirant. Precarious position as a hospital porter. Miserable, but it's all you can find just now. Okay, well, <laughs> it's a job. An arrangement to exchange one's life for money. Yes, that is, that is job. What's this button do? Ah, okay, so this is your work. So we can probably pull this here, yes, and then start. Another shift, mopping the darkened hallways, delivering post to hollow-eyed invalids, trundling corpse-laden gurneys to the basement. Halfway through your shift, the head porter beckons you aside. We won't require your services any longer, he says. Here's your last payment. We've paid you through the end of the month. I've lost my job. At least now I have a little time to rest and my health improves. Dream is unlocked. Oh, alright, that was something. So we don't have any work. We have funds and health. Change in the air. I need funds to live, but perhaps this recent upset in my circumstances is a secret blessing. Is there something in my dreams? There's a change to the air. Okay. I know this dream. Road crests a hilltop, and the air is silver bright. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. So that's ticking away. I guess we've still got contentment for a little bit longer. I can't put that there. That card must have at least one of these aspects. Lore or weigh the wood. Interesting. So these are the aspects that it has. Ah, okay, so there's aspects in the bottom right of each card, if you click on them. Aspect the Lantern Life is a pure flame, and we live by an invisible sun within us, by Thomas Brown. Oh, okay, well that's gone now. I want to read all this. This is very story-rich. In the display cases of the Impossible Museum, I always see an apple white as snow and hard as marble, a golden beetle in a stern box, a coy geometry awaiting my touch, a black envelope bursting with spring, Brass opera box for instruments of record and measure. A storm in a tin. I always wake before I see the aisle's end. Hmm. Okay, so let's collect this. So our passion is exhausted, so we can't use that for 60 seconds. But we now have a glimmering, which I believe we can put back into the dream? Let's try that. Nope. <laughs> but there's this number down here, and I think it's being cut off, so let's fix the UI scaling. Maybe it's just because it's too high. Yeah, there we go, that's better. So we've got two in brackets, it's probably because our passion is exhausted, so we have two total. Okay, let's wait 0.7 seconds. Wow, that was easy. A bequest arrives! The old man has bequeathed me a sum of money and a packet of peculiar papers. Poetry, riddles, metaphysical speculations. For the first time in months, here's some fuel for my reason. Study is unlocked. Okay, so that's work. And a bequest. Unlock books and other treasures with study. Okay, so probably reason goes in here. Let's see, does it tell us? Oh, it does tell you. So you can use language, you can use tutor, text, ability, lore, and influence. And this has ingredient, ability, so we can put reason into here. And lantern, that doesn't help us. So let's try putting this in here. Ah, okay. So hold on. Can you put this in here? You can. So this you need to use with the reason. Like that. Okay, let's give that a go. 30 seconds? Sure. And I'll just keep an eye on the other things. We've got a lot of money now. So keep an eye out for things we can do with it, I guess. Time passes. Times the sundial, shadow, blah, blah, blah. I must have funds to live or I will become ill. Okay, so in 30 seconds, it's going to take something to fill the void and it's going to be my money. I've got passion back. So I think I can throw that in here. Do a bit of reading. Or, um, sleeping, I guess. I know this dream. A rogue crests a hilltop, and the air is silver bright. My correspondent describes my dreams exactly. They use names that are instantly familiar. The house, the wood, the hours, the glory. They knew secrets beneath time and the skin of the world. A new curiosity burns in me. So we've got more reason, I think. Or we get that back, I think. There's a note here. Directions to a bookshop that does not advertise its wares. Hmm. Okay, so we've got directions to the bookshop. Temptation Enlightenment. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to wisdom. This card will allow you to win an Enlightenment victory if you upgrade it far enough. Dreaming about it might advance it or change it. Okay, let's let it run for a bit. I don't want to sit here paused forever. 
Let's work. Uh, oh, it doesn't let me. The final fulfillment of a desire is often a conclusion. It is not enough to hope I stand or fail on my deeds. Desires are often the means to winning the game. The desire for sensation or a power or enlightenment will require a great ritual, but there are other, even rarer desires, especially in the ghoul, priest, and dancer expan- Oh, cool. They're just shipping their other expansions. Cool. So that took some money. And it looks like it's going to take more money every minute. Okay, I think we just have to wait another 17 seconds. We're gonna lose a bit more money. We're down to nine, okay. Ooh, what's this? Exotic cravings, what hunger drives us? Okay. The watchman, who is the door in the eye, waits in my dreams. If I learn the lantern lore and I dream of this temptation, I can advance my purpose. I don't hate that because I did want to upgrade this. And we have this watchman secret, which is also lantern based. Maybe I can dream about this. No. Can I think about this? I, th I feel like I can think about this. Oh, I've got more reason and erudition. Erudition can be used with study to gain reason. It lasts only three minutes. Okay. So let's try thinking. We've got eight more thinking sessions left. If I have two lore fragments of the same level and aspect, I can study them together to improve my understanding, or I can use another type of lore to subvert it. Must have a watchman's secret or a smith's secret. Oh, does it light up to tell me where I can put things? Oh, it does! Oh, that makes things so much easier. So then I can... Ooh, okay, so I might have to do a bit of rejigging of these cards. So these can only go here. All of these can only go here. Vitality can only go here. Used with another Vitality. Okay, so it's like Erudition. So maybe I do one more Sleep? Let's do one more Dream. Can I throw Vitality in here or something? Or Health? With Luck, I'll wake Refreshed. Ah, okay. As opposed to passion, which or reason, which makes me think about other things. And this is going to take that. Okay. Dread. Ooh. What's this? I've seen too much. A nameless gnawing fear has its teeth in my hopes. Okay. This may cause despair. Okay. Sometimes I have dreamt of a tall woman in a sand-colored coat who stands at the foot of my bed, smiling as she watches me sleep. That's creepy. In that dream, she turns her head with the swiftness of a bird, and her fingers flex like talons. I do not think I dreamt of her last night. If I had, I could not have slept so soundly. That's funny. Fleeting remnants, a moment in time. In another moment, it will be gone. Trembling in the air, the sun flickers like a shadow. Dreams ripple behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift from this waking world. Dread is now in my health slot. Okay. See if we can get rid of that. Uh, I've neglected my studies, but I stand a little straighter. Use with another vitality to improve your abilities. It lasts only three minutes if unused. Okay. Oh, I have this one. So this goes in the study slot, right? Yes. Now I can use both. Ah. Okay, I can start that. And then in this one, which is almost done, we can throw health. I think that's a good idea. And I guess we could be working as well. So let's do that. Start that. Ooh, I like the pictures that come out. It's very cool. And I think we will throw health into here. Actually, no, I'm, I'm kind of worried about this dread, so maybe I'll keep the health and throw in the passion. Perhaps power is the more... Pe oh, well, I don't think power is the compelling goal for me. Sensation is the sweeter goal? Hmm. How long until this runs out? 161 seconds. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Okay, so we've got some more stuff. Clover and Clover has offered me a junior position. I start at 8 sharp tomorrow morning. Pay is better than laborer's work. If I don't attend this job regularly, I might suffer, suffer a demotion. Okay. But now we can uh, fix this money problem we have. A promotion. Mr. Eldon, the supervisor of records, has called me into his office to recognize my diligence. I watch the mole on his neck as he talks and talks and talks, but at the end I have a promotion. My new position is better paid. The desk stands by the street window, but I work directly for Mr. Alden now. Mr. Alden is known to be exacting. Okay, well, let's wait two seconds for this one to pop. An affliction. An illness has damaged my health. I need to rest before I am fully recovered. Remember that Herr Salt wrote of this. I've levered up floorboards and wriggled down snugly. Now I am compressed beneath them like a hidden corpse. The air stinks of hot dust. My mouth is full of splinters. This time I haven't learned what I hope to learn. Whatever that was. Hmm. Ooh, that's a new symbol. 
can explore it. An occult scrap. Explore the city with health or followers. Well, I don't need health or followers. Oh, and we've also got uh, books and other treasures. So we have the shop now. The dim premises of Miss Morland's, who deals in rare and sometimes dangerous books. So location, locations, everything must be somewhere, and this is here. Okay, so let's put locations up here. Decrepitude. Some wounds never quite heal. Untreated injuries and hunger become decrepitude, which does not return to health. This remains until I die. Okay. Still trying to figure out where I want to put this window. Maybe, like, over here? That's a pretty good spot for it. Ooh, another unique. Uh, curiosity seekers have picked over this ancient temple, but there may be a hidden door here somewhere. This has location, or aspect vault. Something precious here, it's a location, and it's in the capital city. Whoa, that's a lot. Mm, okay. I have refocused my intentions. My predecessors understood the highest secrets, the searching secrets, the secrets that shone through bones like glass and skin like parchment. So shall I, though the knowledge might undo me. Ooh, enlightenment. I love enlightenment. We go for it. Temptation power. It has occurred to me that I hold the key to power. Light leaks through the cracks. My mind is brighter than ever was. The higher I rise, the more I see. That's weird. More dread. Okay. Three dreads. It's not very good. Color exists only where there is a light, and the wood is the place where light does not walk. In the dream, I close my eyes and walk, stumbling, bruising my feet and knees. At last, the undergrowth before me grows, too thick to pass, and when I open my eyes, I am adrift among black trees. Shadows flutter. My feet will know the way back to this place. Way. The wood. Is this location? Aspect. Way back through dream. So this is the way back to that dream? I have, if I have enough passion, I can walk the dream road. Okay, so passion. Hmm, yes. There's our second vitality. So now we can put vitality with vitality. We got another dread. Oh boy. Oh boy. Buzzing in the brain. Oh, I can't read that. A second order influence apparent to the perceptive, instantly recognizable to an adept. This can be used in some rites to summon minions. Don't really need minions, do I? Maybe I do. I found something noteworthy. Excellent. A collection of essays. If the mind is a blade, this is a whetstone. Study to gain an erudition lessons learnt, which you may be able to use to increase reason. Ah, okay, cool. Explore health? What? Sure. It's probably really important, actually. I found someone who m might pay to enact regrettable necessities. I had funds to hire them for a limited time. But I, had I just have the one, okay? I think I really just need to keep pumping this work. Which is really annoying because I want to put other stuff into my work. Despair pads close on my heels. The world is leached of light. You can defeat it. Otherwise it will destroy you and it reaches three dread. Oh! I'm better paid than I was, but Mr. Alden has taken an interest in me. He is very particular, blah blah blah. He is literally your boss, dude. I have begun my true work. The authorities will take an interest in it. I must be ready. You have begun to establish a cult. Yes, we made it. Add lore to determine the cult's founding. Uh, the Watchmen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone is meddling. Here we go. <laughs> they heard about my cult. This gentleman would much rather be left alone with his pipe. It is illustrated with London news, but no, apparently some conjurer of abominations has been hunted down. Mm hmm. Maybe we can just talk to him. Perhaps we could parlay. I think we can parlay. That was rash. Perhaps I shouldn't have exposed myself. Now I pass between the scarbark trees. The moon passes behind branches, though her fingers remain in my hair. I am stumbling over roots now. It is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. Pale wings move deep in the night. It's a very weird temptation to just be, like, tempted to an enlightenment. Another fascination. Okay. I think I can put these two together. I'm not sure. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! Hold on a minute, I have to read all of this. <laughs> so it looks like I started the wood chapter over here. There's the spider door, the white door, stag door, and the peacock door as well. I feel like this is going to change into actual text very soon. Uh, let's try the well. Hmm. An awareness of appetite. Every sense is heightened, every sensation deepened. A second order influence, apparent to the perceptive, instantly recognizable to an adept. Okay, cool. Um, is that it?
Whoa! The well in the wood is never dry, but it is never clear. One night it might heave the crawling roots on another. It will pulse with bright moss. On nights of the full moon, its waters are choked with the fat, dappled bodies of moths. Last night I saw it brimming with dark and viscous blood. Gelatinous shreds drifted on its surface. Clots of grail matter. Huh. So now I have an awareness of appetite. Once again, I have determined that your work is an acceptable standard you may go. Be punctual tomorrow. There may be ways to deal with Mr. Alden. Yikes. So this is probably done. What's happening over here? Despair. Oh no. Find contentment now or it's over. Bruh. Uh. Uh-oh. No, but I'm so close. Find contentment now or die. Oh, and I've got another decrepitude. Hmm. Well, I think I'm dead. Yes. Huh. Running a cult is tough. No more! Despair, the wolf that devours thought. Am I alive or am I dead? Well, I allowed despair token to reach three dread or injury. Therefore, I died. Well, we're definitely going to try this again. I don't think I want to give up on this. So... If you like this kind of content, or you want to see me become the ultimate cult leader, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe we choose a different path. Maybe we don't. Maybe we try to continue that, um, the wood path. But we learned a lot. And for a game with literally no background, I think we did pretty well. Thanks for coming along for another episode, and I will see you in the next one.